Shea Bear 1000 here. Um, our orb friend is back. So take a look at this clip and I want to explain some stuff to you guys. Okay, so as you saw, the orb came back, <clears throat> and it always starts, get hair on my neck was standing up for some reason, as <clears throat> you can see, this orb, this is the third time it has shown up, as you can see, it shows up dead center of the screen every time, now I had someone mention that in a comment on one of the last the last videos um why didn't we see the whole video clip that's because that is the whole video clip my ring doorbell does not record 24 7. i've got it set up on motion detection i also have it set up for humans only okay people only that means it's not going to detect a car, it's not going to detect a, a motorcycle, a truck, it's not going to detect an animal. Bruno can walk around all day long out there. Um, we're going to do a couple experiments here. It will not pick him up. It will not pick up any kind of animals, any kind of bugs. It only picks up a human shape. So what I mean by that is like it did pick up a little tree frog one time. And you could clearly see it was a tree frog, but... He had his hands, you know, how tr frogs are, you know. So he was like this. Well, that had took the shape of a person. It had a head, the shape of a head, shape of arms. Same way with, with a lizard. It picked up a lizard one time. It kind of had the shape of a human. It had its arms, it had a head figure. I can go out there and mow the front yard that ring doorbell will not go off once because it cannot distinguish a human on a riding mower a human on a bicycle or a human on a motorcycle it just picks up essentially the, the an outline okay so if i'm sitting on that tractor or, or, or someone's on a bicycle it's not really picking up a human shape because it doesn't know the human is on something it just kind of like I said, essentially an outline, which is not the shape of a human once you're on a motorcycle, bicycle, garden tractor. It will not pick up cars. Once I get off of that lawnmower or someone gets off of a bicycle or motorcycle and steps away from it, then it can distinguish that is a figure of a person. That's how those work. Also, I have it set where it records so many seconds before it actually gives me the alert so sometimes if you listen real close if you put your headphones on and listen you'll hear what's her name over here giving me an alert after so many seconds after the camera started recording okay like I said we're going to do a couple um, experiments here we're going to check, we're going to pull the cover off of that camera and see if there's anything there. Now, I've ha I had to cover off the last time. After the last time, I took it off and looked. There was no signs of any bugs or anything like that. And remember, a bug is not in the shape of a human, so it's not going to pick up a spider. It's not going to pick up a moth. It's, you know... That's why this is so intriguing to me. 
it's intriguing because if you guys follow me long enough, you know I don't hold a lot of stock in orbs. It has to be really interesting in order for me to say, now this could be something. Okay, this interests me. Because if not, you're just looking at a whole bunch of dust or something like that. That's another thing. It does not pick up dust. It will not set the ring off on dust. Like I said, yeah, could it be? It could be. But why would just that that one orb, those three times, set it off? Why not, why not the moths that are flying around? I'm going to show you the difference in it. And it does not pick that up. My other cameras, I can watch them. You know, you can see bugs around, flying around. Uh, so they're there. And this, uh, the ring doorbell, if, I, if I'm if i watching on my app, if, when I go to live view, I can see the bugs flying around. But it's not giving me motion alerts. It doesn't say person detected. It doesn't say that. So it's not going to pick up a spider. It's not going to pick up a dust orb or a bug. Okay? So the first experiment, I'm going to show you on my phone, the app. And I'll show you the difference between on what it picks up and what it doesn't pick up. Okay. And right now the only thing I've got it set on is <laughs> monkeys messaging me. Is uh people for people only. Because if not, it would be picking up everything. It would be picking up bugs and birds and raccoons and possums. It's not set up that way. Let me show you. Okay, so I've got you propped up here. Now I want to show you that, all right, let's look at this. Let's hit our, our little, um, this is for, this is for my um, settings, okay? Device settings, okay, video settings for this device. Let's go to this, color night vision, Tap camera preview for live view. Okay, but I have the video also. Uh, the video, I have it set on 120 seconds. Okay, see? And that's that's the longest you can have. Okay, is 120 seconds. All right? That's two minutes. Now, after that two minutes, it will stop recording and start recording if there is motion detected again okay so now let's go back here I got it on a snapshot I got my notifications and all this is privacy settings and all that also let's go to alright where's that one that's partners alright um, motion settings alright smart alerts get the motion alerts and recording you want and ignore the rest okay so this is where I have my zone set I can set more than one zone okay I had it setting up there because I didn't want to be moving this around but I got it set covers the whole front of the house clear down clear down here's the neighbors and as you can see up up in here there's Jerry's house you can zoom in on that stuff um, see record and send alerts a person I've got it set on person only other motion no I do not you see what I'm saying I don't record other motion all right so there's that and let's see advanced settings uh, avoid getting motion alerts during certain times of day what that does is I can set like say you know two to four every day or whatever it won't pick up anything all right so there's that I also have smart responses for when somebody rings the doorbell you know like that okay you got your content help you, you can share this stuff so <clears throat> mode settings okay I have it on disarm that means it will pick up any motion that is human not a dog or a cat or anything like that okay so that's what I have that set on 
um, there's my motion snooze I can snooze at if I hit start snooze that means it won't it won't pick up anything okay it snoozed like for I can go up to four hours if I start that nothing will set it off you can walk around in front of it nothing will set it off all right so it's turned on uh, let me see notification settings it's just got my sounds so I'm just kind of showing you how this this works you know what I mean name it and all that stuff all right different chimes and different alert sounds and uh, things like that like I said this is color night vision video length you know um, and again motion sensitivity see I can slide it now as you can see I have it on minimum alright right there it's on minimum so it's not you know just going to pick up willy nilly smart alerts on like I said here we go this is uh the person only see I can have it <coughs> excuse me I can have it let me know or I can have it you know and just record or I can have it not record and just let me know like I said this if I hit that now it's going to it's going to detect everything animals and all that so I have that turned off okay so that's what that's for all right now also, let's go, this is my event history, all right? Now, last night, let's go, see, when you see these live views, that's when I physically turn it on to look at it, okay? That means nothing detected it, I just want to look out. Like last night, here's Monkey coming home. See, it picked her up, but it did not pick her up pulling in. Okay, so it's okay, Bruno. Uh, here's a live view. All right, now see, there's a bug flying around. There's another bug, a moth, or whatever. It's not picking that up. This is when I turned it on, and I'll show you what I mean. That's what these red means. That's not that means it. See, this it tells you person detected it was monkey. This is just me kicking on the live stream. And I will show you that and I'll prove it to you all right if I want to go to live stream what I usually do I also have another app on here it's called rapid ring see front door I'm online let's click that and there it is I can turn the sound on okay so the sounds on and that's what's going on right now it didn't pick anything up I turned it on okay now let's get out of that now let's go to our event history event history and there it is this is what we just watched so it does not pick up bugs or anything else like that okay so now what I'm gonna do get rid of that send a monkey stuff all right now we're gonna do another experiment okay First, let's see if it picks up a dog. Okay, here's the front yard. Bruno, you gotta go pee? Come on. Here comes Bruno. Let's see if it picks him up. We'll know if Alexa says anything. If she does, then we know it picked him up. Come on. Nothing. Right? There's nothing. Now watch what happens. Let me move you out of the way here. Now watch what happens as soon as I step out here. Did you hear that? She said motion. And there's my phone going off. It says motion detected at the front door. Now. Right there it is. See, that's me. That's what it just picked up. But if you noticed, it did not pick up Bruno. It only picked up me. And like I said, it'll record like 10 seconds or whatever before the alarm 
or before the notification comes. So now let's go to uh, let's uh, oops. Let's go to my history, event history, right here, 227, seeing it's now 228, it says person, and there I am. See how it recorded a couple seconds before it gave me, now listen. Did you hear that? She said motion. And there's my phone. Yeah, call. there it is. See right there, it said motion detected that? at the she front door. Motion. So, <clears throat> this thing about it being a bug, I don't agree with. I don't agree with it at all. Okay, let's throw something out here and see if it picks it up. Okay, first, I have an old cane, just a walking cane. Nothing. I have a pillow. Nothing. And as you can see, I am still on here. Okay. So, like I said, that's, I know what you're thinking, it's disarmed, but that's not, it doesn't mean that it's not going to pick anything up, okay? Where can I find that at here? Um, no. Event, okay, event history, here we go. See, nothing, that's us. That's when we walked outside here. See, it did not pick up those other things. It just didn't pick it up. Okay, so. Now that's if I'm home. Motion enabled. Motion enabled. What that does is that picks up pretty much everything. Disarm. See, that means it's only going to pick up people. It gives me notifications every time I change something. That means it's only going to pick up people. Let me see if I can bring this up for you. And right here, see, it says disarmed. Set doorbell and cam behavior for disarm mode. Motion detection enabled. Live view enabled. Okay? So that means it's going to pick up people only. Alright? If I set this, motion detection enabled. Live view enabled. Alright, so what that means is it's going to start picking up everything if I'm home or away. It wants to let me know that something's out here. I don't need that. I just need to know if a person's out here. I don't care if a cat walks by or a bunny rabbit walks by. Okay, so there. That, that should explain a lot about debunking that this is not a spider or a bug. It will not pick up a spider, bug, moth, gnat, anything like that. Let's look at the camera itself. Now here's the ring camera itself. All right, it just picked me up. Now let's pull the cover off. Look how clean that is in there. It is very water resistant. You can't dunk it underwater, but it can rain on it. It won't hurt it. Now let's get you up here closer. That is the camera right there. I see nothing in there at all that can be walking around. See that? That's just us. The reflection of us. So, like I said, I don't, and that film has already been removed. You can see there's no film on this thing. So, I, 
I can't see a bug getting inside this glass and walking in front of that camera and it thinking it's a human. That's why I think it's so strange. And when I say strange, I mean it is an orb. If it was on a normal camera, this camera or my other security cams, I could say, okay, maybe, you know. But this picks up, I've got it. Did you hear that? It's picking me up. Now I can snooze that. Okay. I can snooze that right here. See? I'll pull that down, see snooze. I'm going to snooze it for 15 minutes. Now we're snoozed. Okay. That means it will absolutely not pick me or anything else up for 15 minutes. So, Monkey's got it on her phone too, so she <laughs> she's probably going nuts. What are you doing? Because I get out here and doing stuff. She might have snoozed it too. But what I'm getting at is it... It's only picking up what it perceives to be as a person, a person type shape or thing. All right. So, if a bear would walk on his hind legs through this yard, it would probably pick it up as a person because it would look kind of like a person. But if he's on all fours, it's not going to let me know that it was out here. Um,. As you've seen, I look all the time. Like, I'll just be sitting there. I'll just look out, you know. I'll just kick it on and watch around, see what's going on out here, just in case. So, it can't be a spider. It can't be a bug. It can't be a moth. What is it? Whatever it is, even though it's round in the camera, this camera thinks it's human. That's what's so strange. It doesn't pick up a flying bug and go, motion detected at the front door. It doesn't do that. Only them three orb-like things, anomalies, let's call them anomalies, um, did it perceive it as a person. It thought there was somebody here. So, am I thinking it's paranormal? Sure, I think that has something to do with it. Because like I said, any other time it does not pick up dust orbs. I'm not sitting in there all night long shutting the damn thing off because it's picking up dust or a spider or a moth or a fly. It's not doing that. It picked that up because it thought a person was here. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Again, now that that's explained, I'll know who watched the whole video and who didn't. They'll just start immediately... Like that, like that one guy that commented, I argued with him for a couple minutes and then that was it. I think I even removed his comments. It was just getting stupid. When he first, his first words on that, on that, um, on his comment was, ghosts don't exist. And I'm like, well, we got more proof that they do than they don't. And he's like, no, we got proof they don't. I'm like, where's your proof? You know, where's your proof? That they don't exist. You know what I mean? I said, have you ever seen a million dollars? You know? Maybe it don't exist because you've never seen it. He said, oh, no, they've, they've proved. You know, that, that's been proven. I said, how have you proved it? Have you seen it? No, but I've seen it on TV. Well, I've seen ghosts on TV. That don't mean nothing. Just because you haven't saw anything or experienced it doesn't mean it didn't happen you follow what I'm saying you know I mean I didn't see the blizzard of 1847 or whatever okay I didn't see it but I know it happened that's just I don't know whatever year a big blizzard happened before I was born because it's documented just like spirits, you know, not all of them. Yeah, I agree that 90% of that stuff's out there out there that, that's fake. 90% of these people doing these videos are fake. But I can tell you, make no mistake, I am not fake. What I capture, what I upload, is what I either capture with my camera or audio, 
whatever the case may be. And I'll tell you what I think it is. If I think it's paranormal, I, I'll tell you, I think it's paranormal. I think this may be paranormal. Um, but just to come out and say something don't exist just because you don't believe in it. You know, I ask him, do you believe in Jesus? Well, of course. Jesus a spirit? <laughs> I mean, you know, well, I'm not getting into all that. Well, no. No, you're not because I'm proving a point. Just because you've never seen something or something's never happened to you, you don't believe it. And because you don't believe it, because you don't believe it, there's always going to be an explanation. Just like this. It was a miniature spider. It was a dust orb. Look, I know the difference between a dust orb. And I can tell you right now, this camera will not pick up dust. It, it don't pick up butterflies. It doesn't. It picks up people only because that's what I have it set on. Now, if I had it set to where it would pick up anything, then I could say, well, yeah, it's probably dust. It could be a bug. But I don't. It has to be in the shape of a person. I proved it to you. It doesn't pick up my dog. It doesn't pick up that pillow. It didn't pick up that cane. And it only picked up me. It doesn't pick up any cars. Come on now. Get real. Let's, let's look at everything with an open mind. That's why I'm not a ghost hunter. I don't go hunting ghosts. Because if you do, everything's going to be a ghost. If you go deer hunting, every little noise you're in the woods, you're looking for that deer. That's my buck. That's my buck coming down and then it turns out to be a squirrel. I'm an investigator. I want to know what this stuff is. And like I said, I do my homework. I've took this thing apart. There's nothing, as you can see, it doesn't even need cleaned. Dirt and dust don't get in there. Spiders don't get in there. You know, I do my homework. If I, if I uploaded every orb video footage I have, I would have to open up another channel and it would be called Wasting Your Time. But when I find it interesting like this, it's the same orb every time. And I proved it will not pick up anything but a person. So why is this thing round in shape, but my camera thinks it's a person? I think that's paranormal in nature. That's just me. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I hope this helps shed some light on... on on what's going on with this ring and I and, and every time I catch that I'm gonna upload it um, because I find that very very interesting <sighs> Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now that's another episode of Shea Bear Paranormal we'll see you guys in the next one stay safe and everyone take care bye bye now